and this we will, we will accept this as informational. And I. And a communication from, from Councillor Hay, who is not in attendance. This was tabled at your previous meeting. Uh, she is looking to uh, support, have you support the funding for the skate park. And also she's asking that the mayor consider authorizing the ad hoc group, um, the ad hoc area, uh, relocated skate park. Oh. That's, that's Jay. Oh, I'm sorry. Usually it's, it's way, way. usually it's the other way around. Right. <laughs> so I is a communication from Gerhard Betting. It's relative to the U.S. Supreme Court decision, Citizens United. And this will be referred to the Finance Organization and Personnel Committee. Uh, okay. Now, Councilor Hague's communication. Uh, Councilor Hague had uh, submitted this communication at our previous meeting, and we tabled it to tonight where the CIP is on the agenda for your action. So she's looking for support of the funding of the skate park, but she's also looking for the mayor to authorize the establishment of a ad hoc group uh, with a larger uh, representation suggesting the Nananak area. And the focus would be a relocated skate park. And I, we will accept the communication, and I will appoint a committee to uh, work on the uh, skate park. And now we move to uh, reports. 381 is Municipal Services Facility and Infrastructure Committee Report relative <coughs> to pedestrian safety at 55 West Street. On a vote of 4 to 0, the Municipal Services Facility and Infrastructure Committee recommends that communication from Main Street America Group be accepted as information. That's signed by James P. Duffy. And we will accept that as information. And number two. Corresponding report, this one uh, from, again, Municipal Services Facility and Infrastructure from the Public Works Director on the West Street Sidewalk. On a vote of 4 to 0, the Municipal Services Facility and Infrastructure Committee recommend that staff install crosswalk signage similar to the Main Street crosswalk at the crosswalks between Federal Street and 70 West Street, and the staff continues conversations with the Main Street American Group. Signed, James P. Duffy. Council Duffy. Thank you, Your Honor. I move the intent of the committee report. Second. It has been moved and seconded. Council Duffy. Okay. Uh, yes. I, uh, I was a bit confused there for a second, but I uh, guess I need to refer to uh, We discussed the issue at uh, NGM uh, last week. There are four cross walks, two are not ADA compliant, uh, NGM Main Street uh, <coughs> America Group was requesting a, uh, an installation of blinking lights similar to what's on Winchester Street near the Keene State campus. Uh, staff uh, offered uh, another uh, solution that would be uh, less money and would Essentially, if there's room, put left, look left sign similar to spots downtown on West Street uh, or Main Street and uh, put signs, three feet by three feet signs uh, that will really alert drivers to slow down and stop for pedestrians. And also when the resurfacing and uh, repainting begins in the spring to uh, really go over uh, those crosswalks and make them more uh, more visible to drivers. Uh, it's the hope that this, you know, in a year from now, we'll see some improvement. If not, uh, it's clear we can look at other options. Uh, but the committee felt that, that this is a good first step, and hopefully it will make a difference. Are there any further questions or comments? Seeing none, are you ready for a vote? All those in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. Number three. Uh, this is a 